Hello everyone. In this video, I am exploring another topic in environmental studies. By the end of today's video, you will have a clear understanding of what an ecosystem is, its scope, its component and how it recovers from disturbances, adapt to environmental changes and maintain biodiversities. Let us begin with the definition of an ecosystem. An ecosystem is a system formed by the interaction of living and non-living component in a specific environment. It can be as small as a pond or as large as a rainforest. The key characteristics of an ecosystem is the flow of energy and the cycling of nutrients which help sustain life and maintain ecological balance. As mentioned earlier, an ecosystem can be broadly classified into two component biotic factors which include all living organism and abiotic factor which consist of various physical and chemical substances and parameters. This relationship is illustrated in this figure. Let us first discuss the biotic components. A biotic component includes all living organism that play a specific role within an ecosystem. They are classified into three main categories. The first one is producer. Producer are organisms that can synthesize their own food using energy from sunlight, a process known as photosynthesis, or using inorganic chemical, a process called chemosynthesis. They form the base of the food chain and provide energy for all other organisms in the ecosystem. Examples, trees, plant, grasses, nitrogen fixing bacteria, etc. The second one is consumer. Consumer are organisms that cannot produce their own food and rely on other organisms for energy and nutrients. They are classified based on their diets and position in the food chain. The first one is primary consumer. They feed directly on producer. Example, deer, rabbits, zooplankton, silkworm, grasshopper. Secondary consumer. Feed on primary consumer. Examples include frog, small fishes, small birds. Tertiary consumer. They feed on secondary consumer. Example include snake, large fish, eagles. Next is quaternary consumer. They are also known as apex predator. They are at the top of the food chain. Example loin, shark, humans, hawk. Omnivores. They feed on plant and animal. Example bears, human, raccoons. Scavenger. They feed on dead animals like vulture and hyenas. The third one is decomposer. They are the organism that break down dead organic matter into simpler substances releasing nutrients back into the ecosystem. They play a vital role in recycling nutrients. For example, includes fungus and bacteria. The second classification is abiotic component. These are the physical and chemical element that influence the survival of living organism. Like climate factors, the factors include like sunlight, which provides energy for photosynthesis and regular temperature. Temperature, it affects the metabolic activities of organism. Rainfall, essential for plant growth and maintaining water bodies. Wind, it influences like seed dispersal and its pollination. The second factor is soil, like soil composition. It determines the type of vegetation and microbial activities. Minerals, essential for plant growth like nitrogen, phosphorus, pH level, 
इन्फ्लुएंस प्लांट एंड माइक्रोबियल लाइफ थर्ड फैक्टर इज केमिकल लाइक वाटर इट इज वाइटल फॉर ऑल बायोकेमिकल प्रोसेस गैसेज ऑक्सीजन इज रिक्वायर्ड फॉर रेस्पिरेशन कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड इज नीडेड फॉर फोटोसिंथेसिस न्यूट्रंट्स एलिमेंट लाइक नाइट्रोजन एंड फॉस्फोरस आर रिसाइकल्ड थ्रू इको सिस्टम एनर्जी फ्लो इन इको सिस्टम इट इज अ ट्रांसफर ऑफ एनर्जी फ्रॉम सन टू प्रोड्यूसर देन टू कंज्यूमर एंड फाइनली टू डिकम्पोजर Producers such as plant and algae capture solar energy through photosynthesis, converting into chemical energy stored in a glucose. Herbivores consume producer, transferring energy to the next tropic level, while carnivores feed on herbivores. Decomposer like bacteria and fungus break down dead organism, recycling nutrients back into the ecosystem. However, energy transfer is inefficient as only 10% of the energy at one tropic level is passed to the next with the rest lost as heat through metabolic process. To understand how energy and nutrients flow through this system, ecologists use the concept food chain and food webs. Let us first discuss food chain. a food chain is a linear sequence of organism through which energy and nutrients pass as one organism eat another's it represent a single pathway of energy flow in an ecosystem example of food chain like right from the starting let us uh, you can have a producer of like a grass then grasshopper then a small bird then a snake then eagle then mushroom and fungus and then finally nutrients back to the producer next is food web a food web is more realistic representation of energy flow in an ecosystem it consists of multiple interconnected food chain showing how different organism are linked through feeding relationship for example in a forest ecosystem mouse is eaten by owl snake as well as wild cat while a snake can be eaten by a kite while a rabbit which eat trees and plants can be eaten by jackal and jackal can be eaten by lion itself so this is how a food web works importance of food chain and food web food chain and food webs are the fundamental concept in ecology illustrating the transfer of energy and nutrients within the ecosystem their importance can be understood from multiple way the first one is energy flow in ecosystem they represent the flow of energy from one organism to another starting from producer to consumer and then finally to decomposer ecological balance they helps maintain the stability of ecosystem by ensuring that species interaction regulate population sizes if a species is removed or overpopulated it can be disrupt the balance affecting the entire ecosystem third is nutrient recycling decomposer like fungus and bacteria play a crucial role in breaking down dead organism returning nutrients to the soil and making them available for producer number 4 biodiversity conservation a well connected food web ensure that no single species dominates allowing for greater species diversity and ecosystem resilience have you ever wondered how an empty barren land can turn into a lost lost forest over time this transformation happens through a natural process called ecological succession let us explore how ecosystem evolve and rebuild themselves 
it is a process by which the structure of biological community evolves over time. It involves the gradual change in the species composition of an ecosystem leading to the development of a stable and mature community. Types of ecological succession, the first one is primary succession. It occurs in area where no soil exists such as bare rock, volcanic lava or sand dunes. It begins with the colonization of pioneer species that can survive in a harsh condition. These are some number of steps. The first one is pioneer species. Lucian and Moses are typical the first organism to colonize the area. They secrete acids that break down rocks into soil. The next step is soil formation. As these pioneer species die and decompose, they contribute organic matter to the developing soil. Next step is intermediate species like grasses, herbs and a small shrub begin to grow as soil becomes richer. In the last step like uh, climax community, eventually large plant and trees establish themselves leading to a stable and diverse ecosystem. This systematic diagram illustrates primary succession beginning with the bare rock and progressing through multiple stages over hundreds of years before forming a stable community. Second is secondary succession. It occurs in an area where, where a disturbance such as fire, flood or human activities has destroyed an existing communities but left the soil intact. In the first step is initial colonization. The first fast growing herbaceous plant and grasses are usually the first to recolonize the area. Shrub stays. Over time, shrub and small trees begin to grow out computing the initial colonizer. The next step is forest development. Finally, Larger trees dominate the area leading to the re-establishment of a forest or other stable ecosystem. This systematic diagram illustrates secondary succession beginning with the dead plants and progressing through multiple stages over hundreds of years before forming a stable ecosystem. Types of ecosystem. Ecosystem can be broadly classified into terrestrial and ecosystem. Let us first explore land based ecosystem that is terrestrial ecosystem. The first one is forest ecosystem. Forests are found in a tropical, temperate and boreal region. They are rich in biodiversity consisting of large trees, various animal, fungus and microbes. These ecosystems play a crucial role in maintaining ecological balance and supporting life. Some well example of forest ecosystem are Amazon rainforest in South America and Siberian Tiaga in Russia. Next is grassland ecosystem. Grassland are dominated by grasses with only few trees or shrub. They can be found in both tropical and temperate region. Tropical grassland are known as savannas while temperate grassland include perennials and steppes. These ecosystem provides habitat for grazing animal and predator that depend on them. Example include African savannas and next North American prairies. Desert ecosystem. Desert are characterized by low rainfall, extreme temperature and sparse vegetation. The organism living here have a special adaptation to survive harsh condition. Plant like cactus store water while animals such as camel and reptile have evolved to withstand heat and limited water supply. Famous desert include Sahara in Africa and Thar in India. Tundra ecosystem. It is found in polar and alpine region where temperatures are extremely low and the ground remains frozen. Due to harsh condition only, 
hardy vegetation like mosses lichen a small shrubs can survive here some well known tundras are arctic tundras and alpine tundras in high mountainous region next is aquatic ecosystem that is water based ecosystem the first one is marine ecosystem it covers ocean coral reefs and coastal environments they are home to incredibly diverse range of organism from tiny phytoplankton to large marine creatures such as fishes whale and shark marine ecosystem play a vital role in regulating the earth climate and producing oxygen famous marine ecosystem include the great barrier reef in australia and pacific ocean in the largest ocean on the earth next is fresh water ecosystem it include rivers lakes pond and wetland these ecosystem supports a wide variety of life forming include including fish and aquatic plants fresh water bodies are essential for drinking water irrigation and maintaining biodiversity notable example includes amazon river in south america and great lakes in north america now i will end this video here make sure to like and subscribe if you find the content helpful stay tuned for the next videos on environmental studies thanks for watching